Hello and welcome to differential calculus. We have been asked to differentiate from the first principle. We have been given our function x as x squared and have been asked to determine the value of the gradient of the curve at x is equivalent to 5. So in, a, in functional notation that is the first derivative of x is going to be given by the limit when the small change in x is tending to 0, that is delta x of function x plus the small change in x minus function x divided by delta x. Most people are going to use h instead of delta x, which is also perfect. So, um, just going to continue this. My function x here is x squared, which means uh, the function x plus the small change in x is going to be x plus the small change in x squared. I can then expand this so that I can have x squared plus 2x, the small change in x plus the small change in x squared. And then I'm going to rewrite that. That means the first derivative of x is going to be the limit when the small change in x is tending to 0 of this is my function x plus the small change in x is given by this which is this minus function x which is x squared over the small change in x that is delta x so I can simplify this. This x squared is going to cancel out with this x squared. So I'll be left with 2x delta x plus delta x squared uh, divided by delta x. After that, yeah, you're going to realize that delta x is common here and here. So that means if I factor out delta x it's going to cancel with the one in the denominator and so i'm going to have a function derivative of x as the limit when the change the small change in x is tending to zero of 2x plus delta x so this is after uh, simplifying which is equivalent to uh, I'm going to replace the value of the small change in x with 0. So this will be 2x plus 0, uh, which is equivalent to 2x. And that will be the answer to the derivative of function x. We have been asked to find the gradient at point x is equal to 5. That means I'm going to replace my value of x with 5. And that is going to give me the gradient as 2 times 5 which is equivalent to 10. Thank you so much for watching.